All right. Um, we're going to show you how to get some heavy weight up into a goblet position. And essentially what you're going to do is clean the weight to this kind of catch position. And if we're keeping with the uh, clean terminology, this would be the uh, racked position, uh, the catch position that people talk about in that clean uh, exercise, which is an Olympic lift. But attainable if you have the mobility in the hips and proper technique. And essentially what we're doing is we're generating a lot of momentum downward and we're going to bounce that momentum off the ground and back up our kinetic chain. It's going to feed up into our arms. We're going to rotate that weight into this kind of catch position. And you don't have to be in this squat stance, although this illustrates a good point. The clean itself, you know, you're trying to get as much weight as you can from this position to this position and then finally to here and that's your jerk um so it makes sense that you're going to try to get as much weight you can get more with a shorter distance so what they do is they get a lot of momentum generated here and just enough to duck underneath it and then squat it up and then they'll kind of rest right here and then they'll get ready and they'll generate enough weight be able to go there. So we're going to do this uh, basically a clean mechanism. You're going to get in position, make sure you got a proud chest. I have got my hands underneath the top dumbbell head like this and I'm going to take out all the slack in my body. I'm not going to be forward rounded. I'm going to be here. I'm going to feel a lot of tension in my legs and I'm going to jump off the ground. I'm going to catch it. And then we'll squat down and then back up. And then when I'm done, you know, I'll kind of let the hips accommodate that downwards trajectory. And then just set it down. And that's how you put some heavy weight into your goblet squat. You want to make sure that you're not using the adjustable dumbbells with the collars that are just springs. You know, I feel good about the threaded ones, but the ones where it looks like, and you won't see this too many more times on dumbbells anymore, because it seems like the one inch standard plates have uh, oh god, the threads nowadays. But if it was like a spring type collar like this, I definitely wouldn't put my two hands or anything. You kind of wait and expect to flip it without that weight coming out. So. Um, there you go. Tell me what you think.